Cody Wright is a professor in the Department of Animal Science at Brookings, but uh, here today at Dakota Fest to work with another event, the auction in the Northwest Veterinary Tent that benefits the new SDSU cow-calf unit. Uh, tell us a little more about the auction, Cody. Well, we've got, uh, I think we're up to almost over 100 items at this point, and they range from feeds to sales for bull credits uh, at, at various producers around the state. Uh, we've got NFR tickets to go to National Finals Rodeo, tickets to the SDSU Nebraska football game, which is a, which is a big deal and a hard ticket to get. Uh, and it, like you said, it all goes to support the new cow-calf unit at SDSU. So it's a great event and looking forward to a good sale. So why do we need a new cow-calf unit? Why do we need a new cow-calf unit? Our, our unit currently was built in 1950. And basically, from a functional perspective, it, it does just fine. But from a teaching and research perspective, it's very much behind the times. And, and we're really doing a disservice to our students and to our producers around the state, not only from a research perspective, but also an extension perspective. We don't have the capability of, of really doing much out there and to amp answer their questions and to get information out to them. And this new facility will help us address all of those needs. So what are some of the features of the new facility? The new facility will have a building that has a classroom in it that can be used not only for labs for, for the students, but also for extension meetings and demonstrations and those kinds of events. But then also we'll have a research building that will have the capability of individually feeding a set of cattle. Could be cows, could be bulls. We can even, it's even going to be set up so that we can bring feedlot cattle into that particular facility and do research where we apply treatments and regulate intake and all different kinds of things. And it's, that part of the project is, is absolutely stated the art. So it really integrates research, teaching, and extension, all the missions of the land-grant university. What's the timeline on it? The timeline uh, really kind of depends on the funding. And at this point, we're about $1.7 million short of reaching our goal. Um, so we're optimistic that we'll be able to break ground in 2014, perhaps 2015, but it's, it's going to get built. It's just a matter of when. Thanks, Cody. You bet.